Next up at UFC Vegas 37, we have the co-main event of the evening. We have Ion Kutalaba versus Devin Clark. Kutalaba 15-6-1 overall. 1-3-1 in his last five. This guy is good and is on a freaking skid. He's coming off a draw to Dustin Jacoby. Two losses before that, a win and a loss before that. I mean... He's had a little bit of a rough stretch recently. Devin Clark, 12 and 5 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. This is an interesting, you know, this is an interesting matchup, and this is a really hard fight to call. A lot of this card is really hard to call. This is in that category. Ian Kutalaba coming off that draw to Dustin Jacoby. We love Dustin Jacoby here. Uh, coming off that, uh, that draw to Dustin Jacoby, he's got really good power. Really good power. And he is happy to fight in a phone booth. He will stand in that pocket. He will throw, and he's got the power that it doesn't matter, right? He will just, he can put you out if he's there and he connects clean. Uh, he's a feast or famine fighter. You've heard me say that before. He is either going to knock out or get knocked out. That's it. Those are the options for him. Um, he chases stoppages, and he may get stopped while doing it. He will just come in looking to finish you, and if he gets hit clean, then he gets hit clean and he's out. Um, he is good on the ground, but his takedowns are a bit sloppy. Uh, is, they're, they're body locks. They're not the prettiest things in the world. But once he gets to the ground, he is good there. He's got uh, quite a few submissions under his belt, uh, and he's got some legitimate skills on the ground. Getting it there is where he looks a little out of sorts. His takedowns are more muscle than they are technique. Uh, Kudalaba gets finished in his losses. Um but honestly, that's to really good strikers or really good BJJ guys. I don't know if you could say Clark is either. Clark has an amazing pace, but he's not really finishing anybody. Devin's a good wrestler. He uses his striking to set up his takedowns. Uh, he doesn't really have power, but his strikes are well-timed, so they do land, and he transitions the shots well. So he touches people. He doesn't really put them out, but he does touch people, uh, and he gets those in there. We've seen him fight explosive power heavy strikers and win. Right? We saw him fight Alonzo Menafield, and he won that fight. So, you know, Alonzo and, and Ion, similar heavy power, you know, uh, aggressive strikes there. And we saw him beat Alonzo Menafield. But I think Kutalaba's takedown defense is a little better than Alonzo Menafield's. Uh, Devin's not a finisher. He's got a really good pace. He stays in your face. Uh, and that's what makes this fight hard to pick because Devin doesn't finish anybody. But he also will grind, 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 grind. And Kutalaba loves looking for the finish. So it's it's a really, a really hard fight to pick. If I have to pick, I think Clark's pressure and wrestling can nullify Kutalaba. But the play here is probably Kutalaba wins inside the distance, decision, no action. Because, you know, Devin Clark's not a finisher. So if Kutalaba wins this fight, it will be inside a distance. And if he loses, It'll be a decision, so you get a refund. You're only going to get that bet at wewantpicks.com slash bets. There are three options there. Grab the bet online one for that. They have the best prop bets you're ever going to get, 100% deposit match if you click our link. And that bet wins inside the distance, but a decision is no action is a great one here because Kutalaba will win inside the distance or lose a decision. And I know he gets finished, but Devin Clark doesn't do any finishing. So I think Kugalaba will, uh, honestly, he may win this fight because he has such insane power. But if he loses, it will be a decision. I love the over on rounds here. I have that bet as well. Wins inside the distance, decision no action is also a solid bet. Hard fight to call, but that's why when you're looking at bets and you're trying to make things happen, just... I don't necessarily, I'm not 100% positive who's going to win. So I look at the outcome. And if if Kutalaba wins, it'll be by stoppage. If Devin Clark wins, it'll be by submission. And there is a bet there that aligns perfectly with those two outcomes. And then also the round line. It's a one and a half round line. The over uh, on the rounds is solid. I think this is going to be a pretty good fight. I think it's a closer fight. If Devin Clark gets a few takedowns, he's definitely going to blow past one and a half rounds. And, uh, you know, Kutalaba obviously could, could make me look stupid for that, but uh, Kutalaba, very good, hit a little bit of a rough patch, could come out here, remind everybody why he was so highly touted for so long, but either way, 
I don't even necessarily care about who wins. I think the over on rounds is the bet I already have. And Kutalaba inside the distance decision, no action is a pretty solid bet as well. Monkey knife fight. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man. Probably more, more. The only thing that concerns me a little bit is Kutalaba does have power. So 74, you know, a few of those might be an issue. So probably more, more uh, is the play here. I do think this is a, a bit of a busier fight. And uh, I have the over on round. So more and more is probably the play here. We want picks.com slash bets. We have promos for 100% match, 125% match. And there's different options depending on what kind of better you are. Go there, grab a promo, get some free money, bet on these fights, and go to weonpicks.com slash MKF. They do a deposit match as well. Play some of these lines.